How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Foot 2004 once again. It's time for another update video. Update 22 is the update that's coming out this month and in today's video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about update 22. As usual guys, if this video does help you out, please consider subscribing to the channel. I try to be the best channel for information when it comes to Forza cars and updates. So if this helps you out, please consider subscribing. Let's get into it. Now this month's update, not going to lie, there's not much in it apart from the new cars, obviously, there's plenty of those. However, feature-wise and update-wise, there's not that much. I'm just going to quickly go over one of the only updates they've done in this update, and I'll go over that now. Basically, what they've done is they've updated the Horizon promo. You know where you go to take a photo of a new car, you take a photo of it, and then it has to process the photo, and you get that stupid loading thing for a few seconds, and it's very annoying. Well, what they've done is they've updated Horizon Promo to have a new button to take a quick photo just to get that photo of the car without having to wait for it to process. So if you're sick of finding new cars, taking photos of them to rank your Horizon Promo up, you're sick of those loading screens you get, you can now just click the bumper, it'll take the photo for you instantly, and there you go. They couldn't have picked a worse button for it though, the right bumper. My right bumper currently is broken. Anyway, for the features and updates of this update, that's it. Now let's get onto the new cars. There are six of them, let's get straight into it. So all of the six new cars are in the festival playlist and let's go over them now. The new festival playlist for 50% of the whole series, the whole month, you can get the Ford Mustang S5 and then at 80% of the whole month, you can get the Mercedes-Benz W154. Now the first week, which is summer, which starts this Thursday in a couple of days, at 50% completion you can unlock the Volkswagen GTC Beetle, and then at 80% completion the Ferrari P4. Nothing very exciting. However, in summer, the first week, which again starts this Thursday, we can unlock the first new car of this month, which is the Toyota Celica 1994, the one shown on screen. This is through a series event, very quick and easy to do. This is the first new car of this month. Now in autumn, which is the second week, which starts next week, at 50% completion, you can get the Hoonigan RS200. Simon, I know you're gonna be annoyed about that. You've just grinded for one. At 80% completion, you can unlock the modern racing suit. And then, in an exclusive championship or an ex series event, just that week, you can get the new Ford Racing Puma. This is the second new car of this month. It's worth noting in Awesome, they are bringing back a showcase remix as well, more specifically, the Halo one. In Winter, which is the third week, which is like two weeks from now, at 50% completion, you can get the Toyota Celica ST185. This is the second new Toyota Celica of this month, which is pretty cool. It's the one on screen right now. I don't really know the details about Celicas, but you get the gist of it. That's the third new car of this month. And then at 80% completion, you can unlock the Jeep Wrangler. And then through an exclusive championship, you can unlock the also the new Mitsubishi Starion. This is the fourth new car of this month, two of which are available on that third week in winter. Now in spring, which is the final week, which is about three and a half weeks away, 50% completion, you can unlock the new Nissan Pulsar. This is the fifth new car of this week. And then 80% completion, you can unlock the Chevy Chevelle 1997, 1967, sorry. And then in the final week, through an exclusive championship, you can unlock the Peugeot 205 Rally. And that is the sixth new car of this month. We've got one in the first week, one in the second week, two in the third week, two in the fourth week. Those are the new cars, and that is the new festival playlist which begins this Thursday. So just to sum it up, we've got the Toyota Celica uh, from 1994, then the Toyota Celica ST185, then we've got the Ford Racing Puma, the Mitsubishi Starion, the Peugeot 205 Rally, and the Nissan Pulsar. Those are all of the new cars coming this month. They kind of kept a rally theme with it. They've said it themselves this month they went for a rally theme, so that's pretty cool. Now, the cool thing about this update is we actually predicted quite a few of these cars last week thanks to the clues that they give us. If you don't know, a week before every update, they give us clues as to what's going to be in the update. And we guessed the Toyota Celica correctly. We guessed the Ford Racing Puma correctly. We guessed the Nissan P Pulsar correctly and the Peugeot 205 Rally correctly as well. Now, if you ask me, 
that's a successful guess. Now, as I said, guys, there are probably a few tiny updates and a few tiny fixes in this update as well. However, this video would have taken an extra hour to make for me to cover those, and they're probably not that exciting anyway. So if you want to know about those, there'll be a changelog in the description whenever it's out. So keep an eye out for that. But for now, I've got the new cars in this update for you. And that's basically it. Now, something else I'd like to mention, as you all know, I've been live streaming on YouTube every single time there's been a new car release. So, for example, this week, we'll be streaming on Thursday for the new car when it comes out. And then next week and the week after that, we'll be doing a lot of live streaming. So keep an eye out for those if you want a chance to play with me and unlock the new cars with me. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed. Tell me what you're most excited about car-wise for Update 22. And I'll see you all later.